It was the kind of performance Illinois needed. The Illini had Rutgers down late in the first half. They held on to the lead, did not let the Scarlet Knights come back. It's the first Big Ten win for the Illini since November of 2016. 700 days between W's. A.J. Bush Jr. returned as the starting quarterback after missing two games with a hamstring injury. He did most of his damage on the ground, as the Illini team has done most of the year. They've already ran for more yards on the ground in just five games this season than they did in all 12 games combined in 2017. I think one win can do a lot. I mean, this was a big game. We put a big emphasis on this game. You know, when it had been that long since, you know, since we've had a Big Ten win on the road, just in general, that has to be big. But after the bye week, we made some changes, and we needed to see a better product, and we saw a better product. That's the best feeling, honestly, because we worked so hard to, you know, last year we lost all our Big Ten games. And to come out here and get a big win like this one, it's a blessing, and we, we just enjoy it, but we have to keep working. Brett Barons was in New Jersey. He caught up with Jeremy Warner for this week's Sunday No Huddle. All right, talking here with Jeremy Warner from Illini Inquirer. Jeremy, I liked your question in the postgame. What would have been different had they not won this game? I mean, you and I were kind of talking about this too, right? If they lose this game, the fire lovey, that this thing isn't working is all going to happen. Now, a win against Rutgers doesn't change all of that, but at least feels good. You get a first Big Ten win in 700 days and 23 months. It feels good to win a game and win it pretty convincingly against a bad Rutgers team. Uh, but Illinois took care of business. Now it's about getting another one because that's, that's a significant significant step forward if you can beat a team you're not supposed to beat because the rest of the season they're probably going to be underdogs. And they get A.J. Bush back. We heard all the talk and speculation from Atlanta Nation. No, let's play M.J. Rivers, but they bring him back and he played pretty well. Listen, I get it. M.J. Rivers is a freshman. He's possibly the future and A.J. Bush is only here a year. M.J.'s got a great arm. He seems to have an it factor, but they lack a dynamic ability with M.J. He doesn't make big plays um, so far except for with his arm. A.J. wasn't great with his arm, missed some passes, had some drops but you see him as a runner when the play breaks down he just makes it and he just adds a dynamic to that rushing attack that just takes him even better I mean that rushing attack under Rod Smith with Reggie Corbin Mike Epstein and A.J. Bush it's going to be difficult for good teams to really shut them down and that's the identity that Lovey Smith wants they rush for 330 yards they get three takeaways when they do that you have to feel pretty optimistic about what they can be right yeah I mean I still think they need to stop the run a little bit better that they took a step forward there today but yes this is the identity you just want to grow on it you want to get better all right but a win is a win Craig from New Jersey will send it back to you Guys, thank you. Some other news and notes from Saturday. Illinois got two interceptions from their defense, giving them 10 on the year. That leads the entire Big Ten. Safety Sidney Brown made a career-high six tackles and one tackle for loss. Trenard Davis, you heard from him a little bit ago. He had a career day with five catches for 59 yards, both career highs. And Reggie Corbin's 137 rushing yards are a career high for him.